Melbourne has long prided itself on its reputation as Australia's most cosmopolitan city and its willingness to adopt the best of other cultures. Now, a snapshot of immigration of the past decade has shown us exactly where the newest Melburnians have come from and where they go when they get here. Now, successful restaurateurs Davinda and Apreet Betty arrived in 1981 from the madness of Mumbai. I didn't like Bombay that much because it was so crowded, too big for me. But when I landed here, I loved this place. Melbourne was, uh, it was like a village for me. Davinda still keeps one familiar reminder of home, but his new country was a mystery. People didn't know where Australia was, honestly speaking, till uh, Crocodile Dundee came in, you know. Now Melbourne's a melting pot for migrants, mostly from Asia. Chinese top the list, followed by Indians and Malaysians. Numbers from Sri Lanka, the Philippines and Pakistan are on the rise. In 2006, Melbourne gained about 60,000 new residents from overseas. Ten years later, new arrivals had grown to almost 190,000, a more than 200% increase. Many are students. This transformation, this, this injection of youth and energy and aspiration and cosmopolitanness has really transformed Melbourne and made it a truly global city. Those who don't settle in the CBD spread themselves widely across the city in suburbs like Tarnit, Caroline Springs, Faulkner, Carlton, South Yarra, St Kilda, Clayton, Springvale and Dandenong. If you go to many other countries, they tend to resist these cultural influences, not the Australians, not the Melburnians. It's uh, welcome to Australia, what have you got to eat? Just as it was when the Bettys arrived. A mission accomplished, basically. Dean Felton, 7 News.